All right, good afternoon on this Tuesday. We are looking at sunny skies dominating our region. Just a few high passing clouds from time to time, but look at the flags really blowing in the breeze. It has been a gusty afternoon and that is making it feel quite chilly out there. Not all too comfortable, but the sunshine is persisting across the majority of our region. Just a few clouds building in across northern Minnesota. The rest of us seeing the sun. Current conditions right now in Fargo, it is three degrees below zero. Wind is out of the west at 17 miles per hour, bringing our wind chill to around 24 below. In Grand Forks in the northern valley, six below zero right now with that current wind chill of 30 below, so it is definitely chilly. Those winds gusting out of the west northwest to 28 miles per hour. The coldest air yet again is across the northern valley. It's 10 below in Baudette, 11 below in Roseau, Faustin, Langdon and in Devil's Lake. But take a look at the southern valley spoiled yet again with those air temperatures slightly above zero. It's four degrees in Sisseton and three in Aberdeen. We are warmer than we were just 24 hours ago around the lunchtime hour yesterday. We were five degrees colder in Fargo than we are now. It's now three degrees warmer in Grand Forks and five degrees warmer in Devil's Lake. However, it does not feel like it. It is deceptive because of that wind. Our wind chills are bitter. It it feels like 40 below again in Langdon, 39 below in Devil's Lake, 35 below the current wind chill in Thief River Falls, and 30 below up in Baudette. But one thing sure to keep you warm, it is National Pizza Day, and although it might sound a little cheesy, anyway you slice it, it's looking like a great day for some pizza. 100% chance of pizza for the afternoon. So I don't know about you, but now I'm getting kind of hungry. Your hourly planner today in Fargo shows those temperatures rising to the single digits below zero. Some folks very close to zero, but again, it's not going to feel like it thanks to the wind, but we can expect the sunshine to continue along with that westerly breeze through your hour by hour planner. By the time you're headed off and home from work, temperatures mostly in the single digits on either side of zero. The uh, quote unquote warmest air down across the southern valley, a few clouds across the north and that wind continuing out of the west northwest gusting into the 20s. However, by the time we're headed to bed tonight, that wind finally diminishes and our temperatures are going to fall again with those wind chill values by morning in the 20s and 30s below zero. Some places again near 40 below, so a cold start to our Wednesday, but another mostly sunny day. Over the next several days, this Arctic air is going to continue to sink further and farther south down into Texas and portions of Mexico. This black line indicates zero degrees that sinks well to the south, so at least we aren't quite alone in our misery. Over the next seven days, we have another surge of that Arctic high pressure pushing in by Thursday, seven below for our high, along with a chance for a few flurries. Lincoln's birthday on Friday, eight below zero, looking bitter cold out there into the 20s below by Saturday morning. But then a sweet treat in time for Valentine's Day, high near zero degrees. And Brian, it looks like we might rise above zero as we head into the start of next week. And I don't want to jinx it too soon, but it looks like we might be a little bit on the up and up from there. It also looks like the first time in days we've seen a temperature that's not in the negatives as well. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been since last Friday, I believe, here in Fargo. Almost